These stacks here in Homestead were once a symbol of the power of the steel industry here. Now they're a landmark for finding restaurants and theaters at the waterfront. What about Donald Trump's vision of Pittsburgh again becoming the steel city? The Steelworkers Union, U.S. Steel, others in the industry, they would not comment. But we found one expert who did. Here's what Republican primary frontrunner Donald Trump told Pittsburgh supporters. It's Steel City, and when I'm president, guess what? Steel is coming back to Pittsburgh, and a lot of other things are coming back. Trump evokes Pittsburgh's steel glory days, but Pitt economics professor Frank Giratini, an expert on American steel's rise and fall, responds. We're not going to have new steel mills in Pittsburgh, okay? That's not what's going to happen. When Pittsburgh's smoky steel mills were part of our landscape, the resources for ore-based steel came together here. But for modern mini mills that recycle steel scraps, he says... Pittsburgh's not well located for that kind of plant. Where the JNL then LTV plant was demolished on the south side years ago, south side works means retail now. Do you know what used to be here? I have no idea. Did you know there used to be a steel mill here? Oh, I did know that, yeah. I've heard that before. But it didn't come to mind. No, not at all. The professor says the Pittsburgh region is still a leader in specialty steel. Pittsburgh shouldn't be shy about saying we are still the steel city in, in important ways. Meanwhile, the Congressional Steel Caucus is saying America is in one of the worst steel import crises in its history, noting that 12,000 steelworkers across the country have lost their jobs in the past year. In Homestead, Bob Mayo, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.